podcast. Do a thing. Do a thing. is up samurai nation i'm your host Corey kench and let's get right into the game our first story comes from puppet combo they've released a game called the glass staircase we're gonna be playing that today the glass staircase this video game is a genuine part first Ooh. What's up, dude? What's going on, Corey Cage Engineer? And welcome to the Glass Staircase. Everybody, strap in. This is a puppet combo game, so y'all know what's about to go down. It's gonna be lots, lots of screaming. You hear me stuttering already? In this game you play as a girl, and I don't know if you're at like some school or some type of facility or whatever, but you're supposed to follow directions and take pills. <laughs> New game. Hold up. We got Nick on the music. Certified bops are incoming. Y'all know our boy Nick over at Public Combo. He be on the keyboard like... See? Oh, oh, KC, KC Luna. All right, designed by Ben. Man, I'm ready. It's like three o'clock in the morning too, and I'm scared on top of that. Plus, I ate some pizza earlier. Ooh, ooh! Look at the dress. Look at the dress. What's that? Take your tablet. Uh, no, we're not gonna take that right now. This game is like. Your friends are gonna start disappearing and you gotta find out what's going on around the school or something like that. You shouldn't go. Where am I going? Tell me where I'm going! Okay. Attention all, attention all. This is the estate. Helen, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table. Remember, good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their choice. Good girls go home. That is all, ladies. I didn't have time to read that like I wanted to. But it said, good girls do their chores. Good girls take their pills. Good girls go home. So... Ah. Uh, oh, snap. There are other girls here. They picked you, Helen. I can't wait to go home myself. What? I hope I'm next. Dude, where am I going? Should I take the pill, guys? No, let's take the pill, actually. Let's take the pill. I don't want to get in trouble, guys. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just going to take the pill. Ooh. All right, they on that Resident Evil. Okay, so. No. No. Door's locked. Oh, what's that? A letter. A letter addressed to Martin Tatum. That sound you were hearing. That one at night in your dreams. That one that's been ringing in your head since our days in the trenches. It never went away, did it? Mine either. Martin, it's starting to make sense. There's been this heat. I felt all the way in Scottsdale. It's been burning in me for months, filling my head with dreams, beautiful dreams. They've been telling me where to go. Come to the address marked on this envelope. It's a manner that I've seen the eyes open above. Come with us. It's going to be so beautiful. So this manner. I'm sure this is the manner that he was speaking about. Why, why does the music do that? Bedroom. Hello? Where am I supposed to go? 
My name's Helen. I'm alone. There's some weird music playing. Move chair. Can the music actually not? Hello? Dusty face. Oh my gosh, I'm getting scared. What's this? Another letter? Already? Helen, though your time here has been short, it is still important that you can be determined as reliable. We would like you to begin tending the front garden of the estate. Twice a day you will need to feed and water the flower bed as well as maintain the hedges. We are willing to trust this task to you, as you've been very regular in taking your medicine, where some of the girls are somewhat unreliable. See, aren't you guys glad I took my medicine? You can't expect your parents to want you back if you're unreliable, can you? To dissuade the others from running about outside, we have hidden the key beneath the downstairs piano. Please return it when you're done each day and be sure to let none of the other girls see you. You're a good girl, Helen. So the key is under the piano. They trust us because we've been taking our... I keep wanting to say take our joy. Like this is um the happy... What is it? Happy joy? Happy feet? All right. Here's a piano. Got it. Wait. I hear it. It's close. Uh, why did the piano stop? Very unsure about proceeding forward. Alright. Where's the piano? I heard it in here. There's the piano. The key's under it. Yep. Thank you. This is the key to outside. Alright. Hey! That was a cheery sound. Another journal. Sheesh. Okay. Alright, so that was the wife's journal about some uh, doctor that was making these creations. I'm guessing that they were bad creations. Is there an inventory? Wait. Unlocked it. We could go outside now. Let's get it. Attention all, this is the estate. Betty, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you. Remember, good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their chores. Good girls go home. That is it, ladies. So what happened? So they, they called Betty this time. So we're not, we can't leave the room. Hey, what do you remember about your parents? Helen didn't make it far. Don't believe what they're telling you. I'm, I'm another girl? Oh, snap! Helen got bodied! Who are we? Who are we now? Helen didn't make it far. Don't believe what they're telling you. Oh, snap! I thought we were Helen! Did you hear those sounds last night? It was pretty weird. If Helen got bodied even after I took the freaking tablet, I'm not taking the tablet. Skip that. Maybe see what I had a chance otherwise. All right. We're a new, it's a new day and we're a new girl. Whatever task they give us, don't freaking listen to them. Don't listen to them. What's our task for today? Who are we? Journal. All right, so this Dr. Edward, I think he's the one giving the task to the help. And then there's this illness that's going around. It's like this heat that everyone's feeling. Not like a normal physical temper, temperate heat. This is like some sort of different heat. There are no... Wait, the piano's moved. There's no task. There's no letter of what I'm supposed to do today. Oh, here are the orders. Betty. Early this morning, a package arrived for you from an unconfirmed courier. The manor cannot be expected to assume responsibility for such a delivery, but as a courtesy, we are informing you to retrieve it. Please do this immediately, lest something happen to your delivery. That would be a terrible shame, especially if it were from your mother. 
What? So they want me to, bro. They want me to go outside so they can kill me. And the black lady, she said, don't go. That's what she told Helen. Now she told Betty, don't listen to them. They're telling me I got a delivery, but they're not telling me what it is or even where to get it. So what? I'm just supposed to go out to the, oh my gosh, dude. I'm just supposed to go outside and get slaughtered. So can I go? Up, oh, about to die. Oh, we're outside. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. These angles, man. All right, let's go outside. Please. All right, all right. I'm just worried about getting. You hit a. You hit the wrong angle. And then somebody's chasing you, dude. I'm telling you. Let's go get the package. All right. All right. Just keep it moving. This is so creepy. Okay, we could go this way. Oh my. Dude, are you serious? Why would my package be all the way out here? Amazon, you're supposed to deliver to the doorstep. All right? I'm not supposed to have to go on a journey to get my package. Or else, unless of course, it's a package. Carry back inside. Soon as we pick this up, we about to get sliced in our back meat. Just like y'all should say, I slice that like button. All right, we got the package. Package secured. Run. Get back to the room. The rain is stopping. Why? Why did the rain stop when I picked up the package? I could tell you why. Because something is about to chase us. Guys, headphones up. Headphones on. Volume up. If you really rocking with me, whatever is about to happen, we gonna go through it together. Don't make me go through this alone, guys. Don't make me go through this alone. All right? Now we gonna hit this turn right here. What the freak is going on? What's going on? What the freak is going on? What the freak is going on? How do I get out of here? All right, just keep moving. Keep moving. I don't know where I'm at. Go this way. Go this way. Bro, is this a dead end? No. 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 No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh! That thing wasn't even human. That was a freaking left for dead monster. All these girls are disappearing. Attention all, attention all, this is the estate. Dorothy, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you. Good girls take their medicine, good girls do their chores, good girls go home. That is all, ladies. That freaking phrase, man. Let's see what the black girl has to say. Wait. Where's the black girl? Yeah. See? She knows. We're the last two, I guess. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we look like. Let's see what we look like. Bro, looking like a Barbie after you didn't shave the hair off. I think I'm gonna take my pills because since we both since we've had two girls that have seemingly died maybe the one that took their pill didn't die i don't know because they are saying good girls go home but the black girl is also saying don't listen to them so i guess we'll take it on this one um what what was that i don't know what that monster was i was expecting a humanoid well, actually it was. I just saw legs look like some sort of hook it had. 
It wasn't a human, guys. I don't know what it was. But but who was the second one? Betty? Yeah, Betty dead, dead. Helen? I don't know. She might be alive. I, it was just a woman. It looked like some eyes or something. Now, Dorothy, she took her joy. So, hopefully nothing bad happens. We're going to go see what our task is. They're actually baiting these girls to their dooms. All right, what's my task? Hold up. We got two things here. What's the letter? Dorothy, we have begun entering the latter year, and as such, our daylight hours are getting shorter. We'll be entrusting you to light all the manor's candles before nightfall, as well as snuffing them out in the morning. This is a large responsibility, but we trust that you are more than capable of it. We all must do our part here. You're such a responsible young lady, Dorothy. Surely your family will be glad to have you home. You see how they're using that against her? A ring of keys. You see how they're using it against them? Yeah, do this and your family will be appeased. Do this and your family will want you to come back home. I don't think these girls ever had a chance of going back home. I'ma keep it a hundred with you, Chief. I think these girls was never going home to begin with and that's facts. What was that? A wet box. The contents have been removed. All right. Y'all hear that cricket every time I come go in the room? Just a candle. See? I got a light. I got a light. That candle. <gasps> Ooh, freak! What was that? What was that? A painting was here. It's been ripped down. Why are all the paintings being ripped down? Oh, what's that? Just a candle. What's this white box next to it? Okay. Matches! Let's get it. Light the candle. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Light it up. Unlock that. Look at the pants moving. I see you, puppet combo. I ain't even mean to go out that door, though. There should be a prompt that says door when you're in front of something. When you're in front of a door, because I keep going in them on accident. Was it this dark the first time we came in here? Light that up. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go. What the freak is that? Light the candle. Go home. Light the candle. Go home. What's the point in lighting candles? In rooms that no one's even gonna occupy. That's how you start a fire. Are we trying? Are we in the business of starting house fires? Maybe we should just burn this freaking house down. Lit this place up. All right, got it. It's a lot of grand. It's a lot of grandfather clocks, guys. I'm just making observations audibly. I can't allow myself to have these thoughts stay in my head. So I have you guys here to uh, to talk to. I am in my house alone. It is probably 4 a.m. now. And I am playing a horror game. Anybody here? What is this, a bathroom? Hey, is it a candle here? Wet no. And the Lord saith unto me, Go out into the masses and preach my word, for the kingdom of heaven is but a lie. Indeed, tis a lie, a lie. The God of our forefathers are, is dead, and in his place we will awaken our new Lord, our better Lord. From below, below we will arise, arise, and take the smoldering world of man. My brothers and sisters, our salvation lies in Dr. Edward Sullivan, prophet of the new word. For our lives do we owe to him. So basically, this is a cult. We're playing another game with a cult. Edward, who is the doctor, I guess he's the, uh... He's the leader of this cult. He was doing experiments. That's what the, the wife was saying in, in the journals that, that we read in the first two days. So, oh my gosh, it is getting darker. I don't even know where the stairs are. Get upstairs quick. All right, now someone's moving around upstairs, but there's a door. I'm not allowed back in. There's a door that's always locked. I know that's what we got to do. We got to get in there. 
since we got all the keys now. This door right here. Yep, I knew it. Whatever's about to pop off, it's about to pop off right now. Who's there? All right, all right. We good. We good. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's a lot of stuff on the ground. Sheesh. So this just said a crowd of strange people, basically zombie-like are outside of the manor. And then the wife heard six gunshots and then the husband told them to get away. The wife realizing that her husband is a fraud. So basically Edward has created something. It says she hears terrible sounds, some mechanical, some human, all unnatural. So Edward is doing some stuff he ain't supposed to be doing, bro. Facts. Hold up, before we light this candle, what's this? A first aid kit, heal yourself? I don't need to be healed. Like that. I knew it. I knew as soon as we lit that, it was about to go down. It's about to go down, guys. Dorothy about to die. Who out here? Who out here? Oh. Don't. Don't. Dorothy! Oh! What is that? Oh, it's one of Edward's creations! <laughs> it's one of Edward's creations, that's what it is. <gasps> she was the last one. The smartest of us. The one that knew. We was never going home. It's the black in her. I'm telling y'all. We just built differently. We hear a noise. We don't investigate. We see something. Automatically it's too good to be true. We do not trust those we do not know. Black girl was spitting facts the whole game. I bet she never took her tablet. Not one time. Take your tablet. Nah, I'm Gucci. You can have it. It's locked. Oh, how did she get a body flashlight? Take the lock pick. Oh, wow. Guys, I just realized you press escape and see their status. That's cool. All right, now that we got a lock pick, we can get the freak out of here. Uh, did she have that the entire time? Margaret, did you, did you want to wait until everyone died? Take the rifle? Give me those. Letter? I left the rifle like we talked about. You have to kill it tonight. The door to the laboratory is under the porch. So Margaret had connects in here. Margaret had big time connects. I left the rifle like we talked about. Dude. So Margaret knew way more than she let on. She, I mean, she told the other girls not to listen. But I mean... She ain't really say it like that. She should have been like, look, I'm mounting an escape. I'm having a rifle delivered. All I need y'all to do, and you know, if she would have did that, they would have a little militia right now. I gotta go it alone. And we all know rule number one, Clementine said it herself, never go alone. And what am I sitting up here doing? Going alone. Dang. Can I get a rip Dorothy in the chat, please? Wait, under the porch. Is that the porch? What is that? Would it be over here? Yup. It's unlocked now. Guys. Let's do this. That like button better be sliced. Do it for Margaret. Do it for these girls that went missing. Oh no. Oh no. What the freak? Are we in Bowser's mansion? What the freak is this? Dude, I don't like these doors. Ooh, you almost got buckshotted, boy. You almost caught one. A realistic statue. Better not move. I tell you that. You're gonna be a dead son of a table of brains. They were being studied. Yeah, this man Edward snapped. The control panel. Yeah, turn that on. 
I'm just pressing buttons. I don't know. Something's coming. Man, blast that thing! What first? First, what you want to do is, cause we don't know how strong that thing is. Blast it in the knees. You kill the mobility. You kill the creature. We can't have that thing running after us. Period. I'm taking your kneecaps out first, and then your dunzo. Now there was something over here. A letter. Listen, Papa Combo with the essays, all right? Okay, now this letter is from Edward himself. Edward wrote this. Edward is saying, ever since he returned from the war, something has been different inside of me. And then the dreams began. All I could hear were voices that guided me, guided me towards something that would need to be done to save all of us. A grand solution that would save the lives of every creature. And he sounded crazy already. The voices, they've drawn me to take the body of a young woman to betray the only future I wanted with the only woman I wanted it with. Juliet, please forgive me one day. So Edward deliberately withdrew himself from Juliet, even though he loved her. He started working on a cure for this disease in Spain. I think I've come to realize what's being asked of me. What the freak, man? This freaking weirdo, man. He was taking people, he was sacrificing them, because of a voice in his head. Oh! Y'all just hanging out? Alright. Just hanging out? I gotta turn this on though, I'm sure. Oh, get out, get out! It's coming! It's coming! Get out! The build up is actually insane. The build up right now, man. I'm telling you. It's like. They set the stage in this, this tension. This waiting for something. My heart is beating so fast. Waiting for the jump scare. Hello? What's that? All right. What's that? Okay. A letter. Kane's terrible staircase to his gods. Were I a weaker man, perhaps my mind would have been so gone. So it looks like Edward had a revelation. The maniac seemed to have yet noticed how suspicious I've become. At first, Edward was trying to build this machine, but then he realized if he finishes the machine, basically the devil was going to come to earth. And thus we have the glass staircase, guys. My body may be changing. But my strength is far from gone. If I can truly dismantle the device, and I will have some salvation. Juliet, oh Juliet, my wife, how I've betrayed her. So at, at least at the end, he like found himself again. At first he was going crazy building this machine because of, I don't even know how it got started from these visions that he was having and voices in his head. But then he realized that it was evil that he was working on. And these people were coming to the house. They were like a part of some cult or something. And then he just stopped. But he still is gonna turn into one of them, I guess. First aid. That's the third first aid. Who's here? I'm getting ticked off now. <gasps> there was a girl! That's Dorothy! She has no clothes on. Why her boobs so big? Dorothy, what are you doing? Dorothy. I'm about to blast you, Dorothy. I'm telling you, I will blast you. Dorothy. Dorothy, are you okay? She's got a... Oh! My gosh! Bro! She ran! Where'd she go? Bro, she ran! Oh! Alright, reload, reload. Oh, she, she running around, ain't she? Dorothy, what they do to you? Ah! Oh my gosh! Dorothy! Dorothy! Oh! My... Sit it down, Dorothy! Sit it down! I'm so sorry, Dorothy. Dorothy. She took her pill, too. Maybe we're not gonna see um the second one that didn't take the pill. She dropped the key. All right. 
I'm so sorry, Dorky. What's my health at? Caution. It's not good, man. Not good at all. I wonder what would happen if we didn't take our... Take our pill. Is that why she went crazy? Is that how they're controlling her? Who's in here? Who in here? Bro, what the... What's that? Health? Yeah. I'm using that. I'm using that. Facts. I bet this is the machine that Edward built that caused all of this. The hosts have begun to show different reactions. Longer their direct exposure to the pylons, the more detached they seem to become mentally. That's what happened to Dorothy. She was being controlled. They have no problem identifying orders, but they frequently seem to forget the answers to questions that they knew just days ago. Perhaps this cult that has come to live in my family home understands more about this being than they led me to believe. Yeah, man. You let some cult people come in your house, just set up shop. Oh, this is the last one. Or hopefully. No, is it not the last one? I really just want this game to be over. I just want to kill that thing and get the freak out of here. So the being is trying to take over dead corpses? So this being basically took control of his dead cousin and then came to life. He started freaking stumbling around screaming and that's when he took out the pistol. And that's the night that the wife wrote down that she heard the six shots. It took more shots than any man ever could to finally put it down. I will need a living host to continue this work. So all those bodies, they were part of the they were part of the cult. Basically offering themselves to the being or the beast, whatever we want to refer to it as. It takes control of the person and then they like die or something. They they were showing up at the Edward residence and uh just basically offering themselves oh my gosh dorothy that ai with her running around that was on some like that's some of the best ai i've ever seen she didn't chase me at first she was like running around like being all creepy hiding a public address system this is the estate Gene, if you're already taking your tablet. Gene? Who's Gene? My name's Margaret. So, it seems as if the tapes go on like this endlessly. Yeah, they're just a freaking herding system. Come on down, it's your turn to die. Does this thing work now, dude? Come on. Oh! Bro, turn that on! Oh, I can't use it. Alright. Battle! Where you at? Where you at? Bro, these angles, uh huh? Oh, shoot, I missed. Oh, shoot, is he moving fast or what? Uh. No, he ain't moving that fast. Whoa, yeah, he kinda is. Alright. Bro, these angles! Come on, come on, come on. Turn this way, turn this way. Alright. This is what we want right here. This is what we want right here. Did I hit him? Alright, come on. Bro, I'm stuck! Move, 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 move. There we go. What? Late! Oh my gosh, how? Bro, this shooting is... I don't know how I'm missing. Move! That was two. That was two, bro. We, this thing is probably gonna take like 15 shots. Oh! Oh! Two! That was a two piece! That was a two piece! Oh, we gotta reload. We gotta reload. Bro, I, I'm gonna die. I keep playing this too dangerous. Yeah, come this way, come this way. Lay them down. Lay them down! Sit the freak down! Guys, we're in danger. All I need 
All I need is to hit a first aid kit without another conflict. I'm not sure what I should do. We can hit this switch. I I do know where another first aid kit is. I think I'm gonna go for the first aid kit. Oh, the door got blocked, so never mind. Hopefully this is the end of this game. Or we get a first aid kit, or we get an auto save. I'll take anything. What the freak? What is happening? This is the machine. A large coil conductor. Oh, that thing is making a spirit pump. What the? What? What am I doing? Oh my. Bro. How do I? I can't. I can't leave. Um. What the? Auto safe. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh. We got out. Let's go. We out. Just give me one first aid kit. I just need it. It's like five in this whole freaking manor. Give me one. Oh, roaches. Ew. Man, I don't have time to fight another thing. Don't be that game. Where they freaking make you fight a boss and then you got another boss after that. I'm telling you, nothing takes me off more than that. Because what I just went through with that monster, I've been ran around that room probably like 500 times. I don't even know who watching the video anymore. If you're watching, leave a comment. I'm still watching. I could probably escape this way if I remove these bars. Say no more. Bro. These bars will be moved. Grenade? Bro. Um that gives you an indication of what bull crap lies ahead. We could get out of here. They're coming back. Please don't let it be all of them. It's because of that thing got inside of him. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Bro, 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 bro. Don't even worry about them. They kind of... Oh my... They everywhere! Oh my... Bro. I about to die. I'm in warning. And those realistic statues, they moved. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, I should have been shooting him the whole time. Reload, Margaret! Yeah! So he took about five shots. Come on. Bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Put the grenade here. Move. Get back. Let's go. We out. I'm out here. Bye. What the freak? First aid? Might as well. Oh, can't go that way. Alright, let me deal with this. If we this the right way. Oh my. Bro! This is not the right way! All those people. Bro, I. That's not even fear! What? How? What? Where am I? Bro, are you serious, game? Oh! Dorothy is back up! Wasn't there another door in this room, though? Yeah, there it is. Alright. We were supposed to come this way. I wasted so much health thinking we were supposed to go in that other room. Alright. Just keep walking. Keep running. Oh my gosh. Go that way. Oh yes. Ankle's broken. There's a ladder. What? 
I know that wasn't there before. Please be outside. Oh my gosh. We're back in the house. We're back in the house. I don't need this anymore. What? Why not take it? It wasn't causing any burden. If I gotta fight something now, dude, I don't. I. Oh! Oh my gosh! Look how fast it is! Yep, I'm one hit too. I'm one hit. I'm one hit. Oh! We broke him off. We broke him off. Where am I supposed to go, dude? Oh, I can't go in there. I'm starting to think we have to kill this thing. Yep. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Reload. Bro. We were, we were in danger. Before I realized maybe we have to shoot this thing. Can we please leave this house? That was never meant to be lived in. I'm out. Please, just let me leave. I don't need this anymore. You idiot, Margaret. Why wouldn't you take that? Why would you throw your weapon down? We're not out of this yet. Who the frick is this? Bro, this man is 12 feet. Bro, this man is 14 feet tall. Are you ready to go, Margaret? Who are you, the men in black? Uh... Bro, I guess we're leaving, dude. I don't see no other ride out of here. What? First of all, Dorothy was naked. Then the other one didn't take the pill. Man, this game was crazy. That game was like... Clap that up. We really just beat this PS2 game tonight. Can I also give a special thank you to Puppet Combo for putting checkpoints in this game? Because we did die at the very end of the game if there were no checkpoints i was never gonna play this game again that was just a ride man you're in this freaking manner where you're ordered to do these things meanwhile all this extra convoluted stuff is going on in the background they got this guy named edward listening to these voices and they told him to build this machine then this thing comes and it starts bringing these things back from the dead and then we got this cult sacrificing themselves for the thing and it's like what the heck this is some science fiction straight out of the 90s my voice is sore from playing this i think i've been recording for two hours oh we got a, some name overlap right there hopefully you stuck around to the end it's five o'clock in the morning oh freak guys look at this look at this not my dirty iPad. Five oh five oh eight. Y'all thought I was lying. Well, there you have it, guys. The glass staircase, and we know what that is now. We it was the the stairs to heaven that this little cult of Cain had uh, came up with. It just sucks that Edward was pretty much he like built all of this because of the. I still don't know how the voices like came in his head that he. To build all of this and then the people started coming to the house and put the combo y'all stay killing it in the meantime hopefully you guys enjoyed this long video honestly if you're still watching you're a trooper and you should slice that like button to prove that you made it all the way to the end hopefully you guys enjoy it give sure to sisters and samurai slice that like button subscribe today to join the samurai and until next time my brothers and sisters because my name is Kari Kinchin.
You win. Perfect.